in. But I want to play from a promotional video put out by Guardian Centers, uh, some of the video for you right now, and, and we've been showing some of it uh, as well while I've been talking here, where, again, interspersed with the firefighters and other legitimate things, it shows the military rounding people up, and every one of them is black. Now, that's newsworthy right there. Uh, uh, I've been to these drills where they all are farmers wearing John Deere caps and stuff, saying, you know, you can't take my land, you can't take my guns. Very scary stuff. But it was a black farmer, white farmer, Hispanic farmer. Little extra black folks. I mean, it, obviously saying, oh, it's for Al-Qaeda, that's a bad group, but it's really for all Americans. Oh, well, blacks, you know, they're kind of looked down on quietly by some people. Oh, look, it's for blacks, so it's okay. And it's military and white guys, white civilians looking on as groups of blacks dump over cars and you know, get rounded up and thrown behind barbed wire. I mean, this is pretty outrageous. But don't expect Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton, the race painters, to say anything. Uh, they're just there to create more racial division in this country, not actually point out that there's preparation to target black communities. Country, not actually point out that there's preparation to target black communities. Country, not actually point out that there's preparation to target black communities. Which are under gun control like Chicago and has the highest crime rate in the world which are under the fake drug war that's bringing down Chicago, just like Mexico's collapsing. It's the policies that are causing this cultural collapse. But uh, here's some of the promotional video uh, hiding in plain view. is not meant to depress you, it's meant to make you aware. It's not meant to make you walk out of here feeling like there's no hope. It's, it's meant to make you walk out of here saying, I gotta get busy and informing my brothers and sisters what's really going on so that we can prepare ourselves for what is coming. The information that I'm going to share with you personally, I have researched it along with many of my colleagues and we found a lot of this information in the United States Library of Congress. A lot of this information has finally been declassified after being held away from the masses or kept back from the masses after many years. Because of the satanic, evil, and clandestine objectives contained in this program called the King Alfred Plan, it is imperative, it's necessary that those people whom God has called to be watchmen and watchwomen on the wall alert the people. There's a passage in the scripture that says, Woe unto the watchman that sees danger coming and don't say nothing. Because then the blood of the people will be on their hands. But when the watchman on the wall proclaims and cries loud and spares not and lifts up their voice, as the scripture says, as a trumpet in Zion to show the people what's happening. If the people still fall for it, then the blood is off of the watchman's hands. So today as the watchman on the wall, it's my duty to inform y'all of some stuff that you might not know about. Do my best, doc. Let's go back in time a little bit. Let's go back approximately 40 years ago, between the years of 1960 and 1964, an organization called the National Security Council, have y'all ever heard of that before? Yeah. I know you have because we talk about national security memorandums. Well, the National Security Council developed a government program called the King Alfred Plan. 
program actually details the arrest, detention, encampment, and extermination of the black and Hispanic or Latino population of this country. No other race of people have had a program written for them but the black. And of course, in 1984, it was amended to include the Hispanic population. President Reagan, along with the ex-director of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, Louis Gafreda, proposed this amendment in 1984, on April 6 of 1984, and hence you have the additional code name Rex 84. It's important that you understand, brothers and sisters, why this program has been put in place. You need to understand the drastic measures that have been strategically designed for our destruction. Four. It's important that you understand, brothers and sisters, why this program has been put in place. You need to understand the drastic measures that have been strategically designed for our destruction. Let's see what's going to happen here. They didn't write this, brothers and sisters, without a plan to make it happen. Let me say that one more time. They did not go through the trouble of writing this without a plan to pull it off. The King Alfred Plan, the United States of America King Alfred Plan, plan codenamed Rex 84. Here's what it says, and I'm going to read quickly. In the event of widespread and continuing and coordinated racial disturbances in the United States, King Alfred, at the discretion of the president, underline that and then look at the person next to you and say, this is why no black man can be the president. You got to understand, people, this program was written for black people. They ain't gonna, I, I'm, that, I'm, you know, hey, listen, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, uh, uh, what's Secretary of State's name? Colin Powell. I don't know. He, he, seems to be, he seems to be a little disgruntled, but when you got people like that supporting the white agenda, you know, it makes you wonder. They might be able to put somebody who looks black in the Oval Office. It says, at the discretion of the president, King Alfred is to be put into action when? In other words, when the president of the United States, not Congress, not the House, not the Senate, not the House of Representatives, not the Senate, when the president declares this emergency, it's to be implemented immediately. Participating federal agencies, what are they? National Security Council, what else? Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Department of Justice, Department of Defense, Department of Interior, participating state agencies, what are they? National Guard units, state police, participating local agencies, or what? City police and county police, that's right. Now, one of the things you need to understand, brothers, let me, let me, let me, let me make this notation before we read further. In addition to the law enforcement agencies that we just mentioned, in 1982, there was a guy named Oliver North. Y'all have heard of him, right? Yeah. Oliver North and Ronald Reagan got together, and the two of them amended the King Alfred Plan. And their amendment became known as Rex 84 because it was signed by Ronald Reagan in 1984. Now, the original plan was signed by Lyndon Baines Johnson, but Ronald Reagan amended it to include 
the Hispanic population. Originally, it was what we're going to read, it was just written for blacks. But in 1984, Oliver North and Ronald Reagan amended it to include the Hispanic and Latino population. What's really deep, brothers and sisters, is this. The neo-Nazi groups, this is all a part of the amendment in 1984. The neo-Nazi groups in Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, along with state militia groups, like the Missouri militia, the Michigan militia, the Minnesota militia, all of these white paramilitary groups that have their training grounds out in the woods and stuff that y'all, I'm sure y'all know about that, right? I hope you know about that. Well, the amendment in 1984 was written to include them automatically being deputized when the president declares the emergency. And all of these other groups will be deputized by the federal government to round up blacks and Hispanics for encampment. This is not good news, brothers and sisters. I'm not here to make you feel good today. I'm here to make you aware today. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Now, brothers and sisters, if y'all if are thinking for a moment that there's going to be worldwide um, uh, empathy or sympathy for us, don't think that. Now, I'm going to tell you why I say that, y'all, because... Uh, Y'all remember when James Baker was Secretary of State? Yeah. Well, James Baker developed a policy with Russia and Canada. These other governments have created what's called a United States European base to exterminate blacks and Latinos in Africa, South America, the East and West Indies, Cuba, and Puerto Rico. I mean, they're working. Why? Why? Why are we targeted? Think about that. I mean, they're working. Why? Why? Why are we targeted? Think about that. Fifty-year-old Walter Scott, he's the guy in the green shirt running away from Officer Michael Slager. The officer fires eight times. You heard the gunfire there. Scott falls to the ground. Slager then walks up to Scott, handcuffs him before backup arrives. Now, this confrontation started as a traffic stop. Ah! Right, bro. <laughs> Got a picture I posted. Tap this side right. 